Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to Miss Lita's Kitchen. This is Melinda with Miss Lita's Kitchen, guys, and I come to bring you a very lovely video. I'm gonna show you guys how I make lemon, I mean, no, um, Swiss meringue buttercream. Um, I made this uh, a day or so ago, and I didn't do a video on it. And a lot of people in a group that I'm on, I'm, on, I'm in on Facebook, they highly requested this video. So here's for you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Click the subscribe button now. Click the, the uh, thumbs it up if you like this video. Um, but we're gonna, y'all know how I do. I get straight into the video. So here's a video of my Swiss meringue buttercream. Stay tuned. Okay, here I have. Hold on, one minute. Okay. Okay, here I have a saucepan with water, um, just enough to cover. We're gonna make a bain marie, what they call a bain marie, bain marie, or a double boiler. I have my clear bowl. For this recipe, you're gonna need one and a half cups of granulated white sugar. You're gonna need five white, um, five um, egg whites. You're gonna need two sticks of butter. I have my butter chopped in the refrigerator. To this bowl, we're gonna add the egg whites. And we're gonna place it over this double boiler. This is basically what we're doing, guys. This is how much water I have in the pot. I don't have it half full, I have it just under half full. And I place the egg whites on top. I have my stove on medium high heat. Guys, this is a very delicate, um, very delicate um, buttercream. <laughs> very delicate buttercream you're gonna need a whisk so you'll continually what, what you're gonna do is you're cooking the eggs um, you're bringing the eggs to a, a hundred and um, sixty Fahrenheit I'm sorry guys 160 um, Fahrenheit on the stove you're gonna continually whisking while that's going guys how I do it the water should be heated so you're gonna continually whisk while the while while the eggs come to temp and you're gonna just continue to whisk continue to whisk this is a um this is where the majority of the work comes in it. I'm gonna let that come to temp. And I'm gonna show you guys my, my butter that I've already chopped. I'm gonna let that come to temp. So I've cut my butter, two sticks of butter into chunks. And I'm gonna show you guys as we go into the, the video how it's, how it's done. So, we're going to continue stirring. You can turn your heat up just a little bit more to speed up the process. And for the sake of the video, that's what I'm going to do. You're going to continually stir in your egg mixture. You don't want the eggs to just, the egg white to just cook. You want to continually stir in it. That, that, that's going to be your, your main goal. Just continually stir in it. Because you don't want the, um, the eggs to cook. You just want them to heat up to temperature just so you won't, um, no, no one, um, so you won't make a uh, raw eggs. Because nobody wants to eat raw eggs. They'll make you sick if they, they're not, if they haven't been warmed enough. And the egg mixture will, you know, it will become frothy and foamy. But you want to just keep stirring. You want that, you want the eggs to get. And also, you want to start with um, eggs white that are at room temperature. Um, you you must start with room temperature egg whites. You don't want to start with um, cold egg whites. Now, you can use a surface thermometer for this, for the egg whites, to make sure that it comes up um, to temperature. But I'm going to show you a little trick. 
that will allow you to know without a thumb on. But just in case you don't have one, I'm gonna show you a trick. Um, what, what really is not a trick, it's kind of, well, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna say it's a trick or a little tip. It's, it's, a, it's a good tip. Okay, so we're gonna add in some of the sugar right now. And how you will know, how you will know that that the meringue mixture is ready or has come to temperature to, to high temp is you won't feel any more of the granules from the sugar inside of the uh, meringue mixture. That's how you'll know. Whatever you do, you, you want a mix, you want a, 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 um, the mixture will become real frothy. Now see, this mixture is kind of thick and like slimy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me bring it to you. Don't try to sit home, guys. See how the mixture is like thick and slimy? Okay, that mixture is going to change. It's going to become thin as the the sugar, um, the sugar granules melt out, it'll become a little thinner. Just stick with me, guys. I may not be <laughs> explaining this 100% right, but just stick with me. Turn that back down because we don't want it to get too hot where we'll break the um we'll bust the glass. And guys, this is not a quick process, it takes time and patience. You just want to continue with this. You see how it's standing out? This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's thinning out now. Remember a few minutes ago it was like slime, like thick globs of slime. Now it's thinning out. That's what you want. That, that lets us know that the eggs are cooking. And as they cook, you will notice, you will notice the granules disappearing. You won't feel the, the lumpiness of the sugar anymore. That's when you know that the meringue mixture is almost ready. We want to keep this going. Kind of babysitting you guys. Because because if you don't, it will be a mess. Trust me. Again, this mixture calls for five egg whites, one and a half cups of granulated white sugar, and two sticks of butter, which is one cup of butter. And also, to know when the meringue mixture is ready, you can use a surface thermometer or, a, or another kind of thermometer, and, and it will work just fine. But the meringue mixture, if for those of you who don't have a, who doesn't have a thermometer or anything like that, your mixture is just about done when the mixture, when the sugar has dissolved into the egg whites. And we're almost there. We're almost there. The granules are almost. Remember guys, we go from a slimy thick consistency to a fairly slimy but stringy consistency. And I think through this process you'll have about three different consistencies. And we're all we're doing here, guys, is just cooking the eggs, the egg whites. That's it. We're just cooking it. We're trying to get it to 160 Fahrenheit. Um, so 
so we're cooking the eggs right now. And my grain was had completely, and the mixture will become glossy and shiny, which is exactly what you want for your meringue. And the grains are almost, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I'm going to show you guys again. And by the way, this bowl isn't hot, guys. The bottom of it may be. But you see how runny it is? You see the consistency of it now? That's three stages. We're almost home run. We're almost well. Done with it. And this is called a double boiler, guys. If you don't have a double boiler at home, this is the next best, next best, next best thing. Excuse me. I hope I'm, I'm explaining this to you guys right. I hope I'm, um, I hope you guys understand. Um, understand my instructions. Okay, and we're almost there, guys. So we can turn this off. Remember, guys, you don't want to have your heat up too high because. You don't want to shower the bowl. This is, I believe, an anchor bowl or, yeah, I want to say it's an anchor bowl. And I've had this bowl for years now, guys. I, I have the whole stick, but I only have this one now. I haven't uh, seen any more since I bought mine about six, seven years ago. Okay, we're there, guys. The, the sugar has has fully melted into the egg whites. And we're there. The, the mixture is shiny and glossy. And the eggs are cooked through. If you don't have a, um, as I've stated numerous times, if you don't have a thermometer, how you'll know when the mixture is ready is when the sugar has dissolved. And if you do have one, it's um, 160 degrees. And that's when, that's when you know. You see, the, it's fairly warm. It's shiny. I'm not sure if you guys see that, but it's really shiny. And it's very thin consistency. That is what you want. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We have my KitchenAid mixture right here. And the bowl is clean. Make sure it's clean, guys, because you do not want um, you do not want. We have whisk attachment. Make sure your whisk attachment. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that's what we have in this bowl. And we're gonna lock it in. And we're gonna go slow. We're gonna go on the KitchenAid. Go on four. We're gonna start on four. And we're gonna slowly whip it. Whip, whip the mixture. whipping. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. But you see the foaming is foaming. So we're, we're getting, we're making progress guys. I'm going to put my, my um, put my butter back in the refrigerator because this is kind of tight. And you know I'm going to put it um, Butter to this mixture, you will have a stringy butter cream and it won't be as fine. So the butter has to be um, pretty cool in order for it to give you that, that, that meringue with salt uh, consistency. I'm going to stop guys for a few minutes just to show you how it's looking now. 
Can you see that? Can you guys see that? So, I have it on four. I'm going to take it up a notch for the sake of the video. And I'm going to whip more air into it because what I'm doing is I'm whipping air into the mixture to cool the mixture down. Because you don't want to put the butter in while the mixture is still hot. Because it's going to melt the butter and it's going to have the butter at a really bad consistency. So, I mean, it will have the meringue at a real um, like drippy consistency. And, and we don't want that good meringue. So we bring in it, we whip in it, we whip the air into that batter to cool the batter down. And you will notice that it's cooling down by the fluffiness of the mixture. And I'm gonna show you guys, because I think now, and the, 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 the mixture will be, you see that? It's getting thicker and thicker. That means we're whipping enough air into that mixture to where it's, it's starting to, it's ribboning now. So, and it's glossy, see that? We're going to whip this until it, it forms soft peaks. And when it forms soft peaks, we're going to add the cooled butter into the mixture. And we're going to add that one piece at a time, one chunk at a time. Because you don't want to add all of your butter in or, or like handfuls of the in at one time because it will pretty much um, destroy your butter cream. So you don't want it to deflate. Um, you don't want it to deflate the meringue. So you don't want that. And I'm gonna take it's on four now, four. So I'm gonna take it up to six, which will whip it in faster. I just took it to eight. So we're gonna take it to eight for a few minutes. The, the meringue is shiny and glossy, it's real glossy. It's starting to form, and it's holding the bottom of the shape. Let me see where we're at right now. See? It's ribboning. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see how it's ribboning from that? I hope you guys can see that. But it's ribboning. And that's, we're steering on where we want to be. Matter of fact, let me show you what I mean. That's, 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 you know. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you see that glob. So, we're, we're at a good point. That means the meringue is actually, um, trying to form soft peaks and yeah we're almost at our butter stage you can you can start adding your butter butter here or you can add it at almost the end um i'm gonna let it whip up just a little bit more and i'm gonna add my butter in. oh and another thing guys Now at this point, you can, if you want just a good uh, meringue to go on top of your, um, on top of your lemon meringue pie or something, this will be the, the place where you can use this at. This will be the stage. Or if you want it to be a, a little more peaked up, let me show you. This is where you can use your meringue. We have soft peaks. It's, it's, it's a soft peak. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. I hope so. But that's that's the soft peak. That's the meringue. You can kind of spread on your, your pie. It doesn't kind of like it takes a lot to, to take it off. Um, you see that soft peaks. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a soft peak. So here's where I will start adding 
my butter. And here is where you can actually add your meringue. You can add your, your, um, here's where you start. You can, you can use that as your, as your, um, I start adding my butter in piece by piece. I have it on four. I put it on six so it can kind of whip the butter in a little faster. You don't want to pour too many pieces, put too many pieces in too soon because it will overwhelm the butter the uh, meringue. Don't want to add in too soon, and you don't want to add it in when the meringue is still hot. You want that fat to get into that meringue, but you don't want to put too much fat at one time because if you do, it will deflate the meringue and it will just get mess. So you want to take your time with it and just add piece after piece. So I'm going to take it up higher so my, my butter can go ahead and... You have to be gentle with this recipe. Just throw in chunks at a time, guys. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to look like it's deflating. It's going to look like it's a mess. But trust me, it, it, it's one of those things where it'll go look bad before it looks good. So just take your time. It'll look like it's lost its peak. It won't look as, 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 as good as it did when you first whipped it up. But all you gotta do is be patient. And here's another tip. If after all you've done uh, with the meringue, if it looks like it, it hasn't formed, put, pop it back in the refrigerator for a few minutes and let it kind of get cool. Let it let it get cool and then go back and whip it and it'll come right back. Just whatever you do, do not pour all your butter into your meringue at once or in big uh, chunks. Just kind of drop them in uh, here and there a bit at a time. Here at the time. You'll begin to kind of smell the butter from the, the, uh, the rain. Butter is starting to melt, you know it doesn't take long for the butter to start melting. And I think I may have to put this in the refrigerator for a few minutes for the butter to firm up a little bit. Inside the meringue mixture. But we'll see. Yes, 
All the butter is not fully incorporated, but we're at a good consistency. It's just a ribboning stage right now. And that's where the stage I was telling you guys where it may look a little bit distorted, but just be patient with it. Just be patient. And then you take your spatula and you go down the sides, kind of go through it, and go down the sides of your meringue mixture. Then I just scrape mine off on the side edge of it. And then we just continue whipping until we get that consistency that we want. You guys requested it, and so I just decided to do it. Although I knew it would be a long video, I was trying to kind of make it. But with something so um, ticky as this, you see that you would definitely need to be patient. You would definitely need to be patient. Now we can see we can continually whipping it. So 
what we're gonna do guys it's still fluffy it's just having the butter has melted some and see this is what we got here but i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for matter of fact i'm gonna put it in the freezer so it can kind of get cool for a few minutes and it'll be a big difference once i take it out guys please bear with me i know this is a long video but you guys requested it and i'm just i just want to give you um a video you all um you all had been requesting for me for some time so um i'll use this time to speak to you all um yes this is a longer video probably one of the longest videos well i know it's been it's the longest video that i've ever made but please guys just bear with me you guys asked for this meringue buttercream recipe and i'm trying to give it to you um it actually was longer than i thought because i guess when i was doing it by myself before recording i guess it was it just seemed quicker to me um and um but i know it was time consuming i guess it didn't seem quick because you know but um different uh groups that i'm in on facebook they've actually um asked me to do the, to, to do this particular video um guys i know it is extremely long and i apologize i apologize but please bear with me um i'm gonna try to learn the word world of videoing um of editing uh, all those things and i just need you guys to really bear with me um so I can continue to give you great content. I'm trying to learn this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> um, just please, please guys, just bear with me. I promise you, my videos won't, um, I'm gonna try not to make them so long. So um, I popped the uh, meringue uh, buttercream in the, the freezer. Um, and I'm gonna have that in there for a few minutes just to get that butter to firm back up so that it can, I can whip the uh, buttercream um, so it'll, it'll come back. Um, as I've stated, when you're doing the buttercream, it will flop. It will look like it's, it's a mess, but continue whipping. And when you whip for about five minutes and it hasn't um, popped back, just pop it in the refrigerator for a few minutes, five, ten minutes. And not too long, not too long, but and bring it back and whip it and it'll pop. It'll pop right back. So um, you haven't destroyed it. The, the, um, you haven't destroyed it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and... But yeah, guys, whatever you want to ask me, whatever videos you want to see me do, please uh, drop them in the comment section below. Um, let me know what you want to see coming from me. Let me know um, from us at Miss Liz's Kitchen. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know uh, what your interests are. Um, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, if, if I'm um, not explaining it right, because um, on my page, on my, um, is no, um, I accept all criticism i accept all um corrective criticism i accept all um all comments you know um nothing to me is bad N you know no feedback is bad but as long as i'm getting feedback that lets me know i need to work in this area more i need to do this different i need to do this. so i welcome all you guys uh commentary all you guys um input and suggestions and stuff just just drop them in the comment section below and um i'm gonna read everybody's um and i try to get back to everyone as fast as possible but yeah just be patient with me guys i promise you i'm gonna give you some good stuff and i'm gonna teach you some things and um um anybody who wants to collab with me um or want to teach me any of those youtubers out there who want to teach me show me how it's really done because i'm new to youtube and i'm just trying to learn you know learn everything about youtube so yeah guys i'm sorry if this video has taken on a life of its own <laughs> but please 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 be patient with me please be patient with me yeah, just please be patient with me let me see okay, so we're gonna try to whip this up again guys and if it doesn't whip completely up this time I'm just going to put it back in the refrigerator, the refrigerator, the freezer. I'm going to put it in the freezer for about three to five minutes. And uh, I know it'll pop back then. And I'm just going to insert, um, I'm just going to insert a, um, you know what, I'm just not. I'm going to insert a video. I'm just going to insert a video or a picture of the finished product. Because I know I've held you guys too, too long. I really want you guys to see this butter cream come to life. Because when it came to life for me, it was really, really cold. It was gorgeous. And I just want you guys to see this on camera. Because I know I've held you guys too, too long. I really want you guys to see this butter cream come to life. 
if not, I'll just um, put a picture in the description. Uh, put a picture on my uh, on the, uh, front, the front cover. It'll, it'll, it'll be my thumb. Put a picture up. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do Okay, we're getting there. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, we're getting there. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I'm going to scrape the bottom down because we are getting there. I see magic. Yes, I do. I see magic happening here. This is what happens when you, when you, um, you may have to put it back in the refrigerator because your, your uh, butter may have gallons. Your butter may have gallons melted. It probably have gotten soft or got warm. So, okay. you're whipping it. It's a long process, but it's so, so worth it. Now my attachment don't seem like it wants to release itself, okay? That's what you want, guys. You see how it's stuck in there? You see? It takes a lot. That's what you want. It looks a little funky. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something here to see so you'll know what it pipes like. Just, that's what it's looking like and I'm gonna pot, put a little bit a little dollop into this piping bag just to kind of show you guys how it pipes okay so this is you're gonna squeeze you're gonna tighten you're gonna make sure that's tightened right there and then I have a Wilton this is a oh my god what is this tip in 1m this is a 1m tip um, and it, this is a disposable piping bag, but I want want you guys to see something Perfect Perfect That's perfect that's what we want guys I thank you for watching this video. I hope you subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with um, your family and your friends. Yes, and this is your butter cream. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video was a long one, but it was highly, highly, highly requested. And um, I'm sorry for the bad one, guys. I'm just hitting this against the uh, the bowl so it would um, lose some of the other um, lose some of the other um, mixture. And this is you see how smooth that that's what you want. Yes. I have this quart size container. And I'm gonna fill this. It's like a freezer quart size. I'm just gonna pour all of this mixture. See, it looks a little lumpy or something, but when you smooth it out, you can take your spatula and it was smooth. Do you see that, guys? Yeah. Uh, yes, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and your family. I've just shown you how to make Swiss meringue buttercream. And I'm putting this into a 32 ounce quart container. And I'll use this layer. Um, this will hold in the refrigerator for about 
um, four to six months. It's one of those things you can make now and save for later. Um, with that butter being in there, you could, you could hold it for four to six months or maybe even longer. I'm sure it, can, it will last longer. Um, I would go as far as to say about nine months. Um, but don't quote me on that, but I'm sure four to six months it can last in your refrigerator. Okay, and after you put it in your container, what you do is when you get ready to use it, just pop some out, whisk it up in a bowl, or you can put it back into your KitchenAid and whip it on with your mixer, your um, with your whisk attachment, and it'll pop right back and you can uh, butter. Uh, ice, ice your cake in, in any form. So, yeah, guys, I know this was a long video. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I really enjoyed making this video for you all. I pray that you all enjoy this video. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching and patience. God bless you.